Today we're going to make this zipper pouch that has some really cool features. In order to see all the features, be sure to watch all the way through the end because I'm gonna take you through step-by-step -step on how to make this pouch, how to add the zipper, how to add some extra cool little features right in here that include some fabric and of course a canvas to make it nice and sturdy. So come join me in making this pouch because I believe you're going to make more than one as a gift for another crocheter or simply because you love making them. So here we go. <laughs> In order to crochet the crochet hook holder with notepad and a zipper, you will need a few things. So I have these two colors that I used. Okay, so a dishy yarn, worst away to yarn. This is literally what I have left. So as you can tell, it's not going to be a lot. We're gonna use more of this than we do this. Uh, you're gonna need a tapestry needle, scissors, um, measuring tape, a four millimeter hook, um, a button if that's what you like to do and we have a few other things so let me show you you will also need some fabric as you can tell here I have just some red fabric I cut it so that it is a measurement of 16 times nine and a half and then I cut um, a one inch square off on each corner and I also ironed it so it's already pre-done for the edges here then we have the canvas, uh, the canvas, which is six times seven, two pieces. We're going to put it right here and we're going to use hot glue to glue it on. You can sew it if you wish, but hot glue goes much faster for this. We're going to do that all the way around. We're going to hot glue this piece also a little bit to the fabric so it doesn't move around. Um, we're also going to have a zipper. Now that is optional. You don't have to use a zipper, but I'm going to use a zipper which is for me 18 inches long and I measured from about here to about here. Okay, so that's 18 inches. Once you have all that set up, you're going to need to crochet the pieces. So let me show you the measurements and all the things about the crochet pieces. So in order to crochet all these pieces, I would like you to take a look at the actual written pattern, which is a link in the description on my website. So the entire big piece is 14 times seven and a half inches and then it has 53 stitches per row and it has 37 rows. This is all done with single crochet. That's the only piece in single crochet. These pieces right here, the light pink is all done in linked double crochet because I wanted to make sure that there's absolutely no gaps at all. So this will be the pocket for the front. The flap is three and a half times one and a half inches with a decrease on um, the top here, like going from here to here, it's a decrease. And then there's a little loop here. This is written in the in a pattern. So take a look on all the information about that. The pocket itself is three and a half times three and a half inches. Once you have all that, those pieces ready, you're going to make two more pieces, okay? So we have, these are exact same pieces. There are five times six inches, 20 stitches per row and 13 rows for linked double crochet. It's going to be on one side like this and on the other side like this. So we're gonna have here the pockets for the hooks. So that is how that is going to be. So let's put it all together, shall we? Okay, those are the first things we're going to do is hot glue this together and add the um, zipper to it as well. So let's do that step by step. I'm gonna show you parts of it uh, because you don't have to watch me put hot glue on everything, but I'm gonna show you the first part of it so that you know how to start it. So right here's my hot glue. I'm gonna simply put it over right here. My hot glue is funny. Hopefully yours is funny too. So that is what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna also add it to this one already because that is what I'm going to add first. So like that. And then I'm gonna put this on more towards the corner here, making sure it's about even, and then I'll lay it down like so. Make sure you don't touch it with the hot glue. So like this, it's gonna come partially through. That's totally fine because it's going to cool down first. And then we're gonna add this piece first. 
And don't worry, you're not going to see all this in the end because that's going to be the side where the crochet is on. So this is going to be the next part, but I'm going to first do this side and then I'm going to add this side to it and I'll show you how it looks like in the end. But all you have to do is hot glue it together. Once you're done, it's going to look like this. Okay, so you have a middle part that's a little bit more movable, which you want, similar to a book, right? So you're not going to see this part, so don't worry. So it's going to fit right on top of the crochet piece, right? So you want to make sure you kind of um, block it first. I used an iron since this, the crochet is actually 100% cotton, so you can do that. So you can see how it fits very snug. It's just a little bit hanging over for the crochet. You kind of want that. Okay. So now it's time to hot glue the zipper on. So what you're going to do is you're going to find the midpoint right here, okay, where the fold exactly is happening. So that will be right here, putting my finger on it. And that is exactly where this little nub needs to be. And we're going to start first hot gluing one side on. Over here, leave a little bit of a gap, okay, so that you can bend this over and work your way around it. So what does this now look like when we start? So first I'm gonna mark my point right here. So I will remember. And now I'm gonna hot glue a little piece of this. So I'm gonna look roughly until here. So that is what I'm gonna do. Hot glue right here, only on the edges. You don't wanna get close to the teeth at all because then you're not going to be able to do this. Just we're going to do one part at a time, right? So roughly until here. And now, whoops, we're going to put this right here where the point is. So now I'm going to work my way around it. Okay, so once you have one side done, make sure you have a little bit of a gap here and there's some room so you can actually open the zipper. Um, yes, it's not going to go all the way, but you can get a longer zipper, like having a little bit of a gap. So in case needs something needs to just get stretched, that's totally fine. Okay, so now we're going to flip this together over here and you're now going to, I'm going to hold like this so you can see what I'm doing. Now we're going to hot glue it onto like this. Uh, ideally, you want to open the zipper a little bit so that way it's easier, but you can keep it closed if that's what you like. And now you're just going to hot glue it right here all the way around. And then we're going to hot glue it onto the extra crochet piece. Okay, so now that you've finished this, this is how it's going to look like when you open it. It's just a little bit of a gap over here. Um, it's nicely looking over here. You don't see any of the mess. So see, even if you mess up on this side, don't you worry and nobody sees this because now we're going to hot glue this piece right onto the crochet. Now don't overdo it on the hot glue because it's going to come through and you don't want to come have it come through. So you don't want to see it on this side, right? We're going to start first over here, making sure we're not touching any of the teeth from the zipper. As you can see, I'm not overdoing it. Put it on here exactly where I want it to be. Like so. And then I'm going to work my way over by kind of holding it like this and then put a little bit more hot glue there. And if you can see now, it didn't come through at all. And here you can see now the very last piece there. I worked my way all the way over very gently, one piece by piece and did it all the way so there's no hot glue shown it's all very nice and now it's going to look like this and now we're ready to add the pockets which is so cool okay so now that we have everything ready well you're going to add a little bit of a button here or something that's at least what i did because i think it's the easiest way to make this specific function work so here's what we're going to do we're going to hot glue or so it's up to you okay this side and this side okay so like an l shape right just you know mirror image and this right here is yarn that I wove from this point over and then from this point over. So they're coming out. So if I pull here, you can see how this does that, right? So why did I do that? The point of that is that if you have, let's say a notepad, okay, that you want to kind of slide in, you don't want it to go anywhere. So for example, if I like slide it in like this, obviously this is hot glued on, right? Like so. 
that I can make sure that the crochet part of it doesn't go any so and then you can kind of either wrap this or sew this or you can make a tie like you would um, tie your shoes right so just make it around here so it doesn't go anywhere so we're gonna do one side at a time so this part first simply make a line again you can sew this too if you like I'm just gonna make a thin line right here and I'm going to put it exactly where I want it to be a little bit further down so you simply Put this over here so don't stretch your crochet too much when you add your hot glue onto it and now you're going to put it on here again you can sew this or you can hot glue this so I'm gonna hot glue it because I already have my hot glue gone out so might as well do that okay so how you're going to do that is you're going to and of course you weave in your end right which I haven't done yet um, but you're going to start as low as possible okay hot glue on one side right here and then you're gonna add let's say your hook here's one of my hooks put it like so so you can tell exactly where the next line needs to be. Then you can put your finger there and then do that. Okay, so now we're gonna do this side right here, like so. Again, don't stretch it too far when you do this. And let it dry in between the phases that you're working on this, right? So you're not stretching it too far or you're having your crochet piece stuck to uh, the hot glue, okay? Okay, so that is now the very last one. So I have done now all my lines. I do it in a, like an L shape once I start at the end of it. So right here, the last little bit. And my last one is only for like skinny crochet hooks but again you can make as many pockets as you like for this and just flip this over and there we go all right so I already added my button which is easy right you just sew it on or you can if you wish you can even hot glue it on but I sewed it on because I want to be able to move it back and forth if I want to add my loop okay so the first thing is you're going to make a U shape right for the hot glue just a line so, and then I'm going to align it like this. There we go. Put it like so. And I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to work on both sides. There. And align it nicely. Last little bit. So there we go. I aligned it to make sure it's where it needs to be. So that way I can open it and of course close it, put it around that little button and we are good. How pretty is this? Okay, so now you have your entire pouch done. I hope you enjoyed this pattern and I hope you enjoyed putting it together. Let me see yours. Um, hop over to my group called Crocheting with Nikki and let me see your pouch. I would love to see it and see your colors and how you put it together. Remember, I have the written pattern on my website for free with ads. And then you can, of course, also get the printable version without ads. Just purchase the PDF or come join the Crochet Club where you get all my PDF patterns in one vault plus extra support. I hope you enjoyed this and I uh, be sure to like, comment and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the bell the next time I publish a new video. Gorgo life. Bye.